Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Sandwiches are wonderful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. If I, and if I had a million sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. Do you know that one? No. What? Oh, I think it's, do you remember Raffi? It was like a kid's. I know the Raffi Law Group. No, 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 that's in Arizona. No, Raffi was like a, he did kids. Um, he did the um, no. baby shark. No. no. Baby shark. No. Anyway. Okay, well, anybody out there remember sandwiches are wonderful, sandwiches are fine. I love sandwiches. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper and I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a million sandwiches, I'd eat them all at once. It might be a hundred sandwiches. Well, whatever it is. Okay. Hey, guys. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy and this is my husband, Marcus. Hello. And it is after work and we're just, yeah, we're exhausted from the day. But we're going to film a foodie. Fun day, which I should put out on Friday because my thing, my shirt says I love Fridays. Friday, did you hear that? I love Fridays. That's my cat. Okay, um, so let's talk about what we're gonna try today. It's kind of a Spanish themed. Um, I'll probably get in trouble for saying that. Meal. So, um, okay, let's just we're gonna go through what we're gonna try. So these are the taco shells, but we're not actually gonna make tacos. Why not? Well, because we don't have stuff here to make tacos. Oh. Anyway, I'll explain that. But we have lots of stuff that we can try the tacos with. So there's tacos. And then along those same lines of corn crunchy things are these corn chips. Corn chips. And <clears throat> then we have taco sauce. So that should be good to try with the taco shells. And we have some mild salsa. Okay, this one's open. Well, we needed salsa for our meal the other day. And this is the only salsa in the house because, you know, I'm trying to clean out the pantry. So we opened this one. But... There's a hot salsa and a mild salsa. And you guys, this is a really good buy. So I got to say, yeah, I thought this was really good. Is it Frito-Lay? Yeah. <gasps> it is. Yeah. I need to buy more. Anyway, if you see it there, I buy this. Yeah, yeah it's buy this. Deal. It's a great deal. Okay. And then, um, so there's the Mexicali red enchilada sauce. Now, there's also a green enchilada sauce. And we used the green enchilada sauce already, too. We made something Oopsie. with that. Yeah, but that's okay. It was good, but we're going to try the red for you. So, um, and then we have all of pull these. Top. I love pull tops. All of these nacho cheese sauce. So, see, so we have al fresco nacho cheese sauce. We have paste nacho cheese sauce. Also pull top. We have Mexicali not, white nacho cheese sauce. And we have Mexicali oh, wow. nacho cheese sauce original. So that's oh, wow. obviously very, we're gonna have like tacos, but. The cans don't stack very well. They don't stack very well, that's okay. So also we have purchased, and I just hauled the Kinder's barbecue sauce. So there's Kinder's in some Kinder's. places, and I found these Kinder's meals. So this one is Italian, Italian chop house meatballs, and this one is fajita rice bowl. So I thought this went, with what we were making, but since I had one other Kinder's meal, I thought we should make it all at the same time. Sure. And then just for, what could you say, shoots and giggles, um, I bought these a while ago. Everybody said they were really good. I've been holding off until we did a foodie fun day, so we're gonna try these. But right now, we're actually gonna stop and cook these two things because we have to cook them. And while we start that, Effingham, say, I was just gonna tell you to say hello. I know. Well, you, oh, we're eating beef. I know. Oh, he gets upset when we eat beef. I, I, yeah, and Evan, Evan, him, Evan. Gonna be hearing about this. Easy, for a day. Okay. Easy. 
going to be hearing about it for days. Okay. Silent treatment would be fine. Okay. So while we he reads that and gets started, I just want to say a couple of thank yous out there. So um, I've been so busy and I sort of neglected my P.O. box for a while, which happens just because it's so incredibly, incredibly busy. But I wanted to just say a couple of thanks you. Thank yous. Because Christy and um, Sabrina both, and your aunt Sabrina sent us a holiday card. I know, and I literally, well, I got it a while ago. I just keep forgetting to say so on the film. So I just want to thank you both for the lovely holiday cards. It's so sweet when somebody thinks of you and sends you a nice card. It's really the kindest thing. And then I want to also thank a Minnesota Mickey, who you guys say prayers. She's still recovering from her knee surgery. And hold on, sneeze. <coughs> anyway, she's still recovering from her knee surgery and it's still in a lot of pain. So I keep you know, hoping that she'll feel better. But she a while ago adopted an elephant for me named Margaret. And so I get stuff from Margaret every once in a while. And so Margaret sent me a deck of cards with a picture of her on it. How fun is that? Anyway, it's my little Margaret. I honestly thought about doing a craft with them. Like, wouldn't it be fun just to decoupage Margaret all over a box or something? But, um, I don't know. I'm not going to do anything with her right now. I'm trying to open up to show you a better picture of Margaret. See, Margaret? That's Margaret. There's my little Margaret. She's so cute. I think I told you when I first got, when I first adopted Margaret, I almost named my daughter, Emma Margaret. I just thought, it, I love the name. Okay, and then the final thing, which Minnesota Mickey <laughs> sent me. Which if you guys, all of my besties who have been around for a while, you remember when I went and visited her in Minnesota and we did a Dollar Tree haul, which was hysterical. And she had some tennis shoes and I was like, oh my gosh. And she's like, no, I got you some. I just got them. So I just have to show you guys these. Like, what? This needs to be my thumbnail. Mm, Cause can you read the Bella's Bargains? They're like Dollar Tree tennis shoes that say Bella's Bargains. Like, come on. And they fit perfectly. They're so comfortable. I'm so worried about wearing them because they're white. I'm like, ugh. They're white. Yeah, I'm going to destroy them. But that's okay. I'm sure they're washable. All right. So we're going to pause. We're going to cook some um, stuff back there and come back and show you what it all looks like. Well, there's no pause. I don't even know why I say there's going to be a pause because there's not. Because I'm going to hit a button. Then I'm going to hit a button. We're not going to go anywhere. So how about this? Let's check out what Marcus cooked. Okay. I'm already eating corn chips. So we've heated up some of the cheese sauce while we're cooking back there. So these are corn chips, and they are distributed by the Bickle Snack Foods out of York, Pennsylvania. There's five servings per container, about 150 calories per serving. There's 5.25 ounces in here. And... Bickle. Never heard of them. I've never heard of them either. And... Well, well they're it, good. It tastes like corn chips. Tastes like Fritos. Yeah, like, yeah. Put a little chili on them. Okay, but we're gonna try his cheese sauce. All right. So this one is the Mexicali Nacho Cheese Sauce Original. Which is a Frito-Lay product. N no. Yes. Pop oh, from no. Mexico. No, it's I the other one. Bit, okay. Mm. A little thin, a little spicy. Yeah, but not bad. I mean, you're right, it's a little thin. A little thin, but it has a little spice to it. It's not just cheese. Hold on. I don't think it really has any much spice. Okay. Whatever. I think it does. This is the white nacho sauce, which this is like my favorite. These are both by you know, uh, Products of Mexico. How do you know it's your favorite? No, I mean, it's my favorite kind of cheese sauce at a Mexican restaurant. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I think would be really good? We're going to mix all these together in the end and throw crushed tomatoes in and I, then make yeah, like I, a big I, I nacho like, thing. I like the nacho better than the white nacho. Yeah. Mm. I think I like the white one better. Okay. Then we have... Also, this is El Fresco. The same company is making all of these, by the way, because this one is also distributed by um, Mexico or bueno. Mexico or LLC. It's Bueno is the brand name thing on it. Anyway, this is nacho cheese sauce, salsa de queso para nachos, nacho cheese sauce. So it, it's just a regular nacho cheese sauce. It's a little yellower, rather than orange. 
It also has a little spice to it. <clears throat> I can't make spice. Yeah, it does. We should have done this with taco shell. It has a little jalapeno to it. I think they all taste the same to me. No. I don't know. <clears throat> and then the last one is the paste nacho cheese sauce. Now, paste. Made with real cheese. Supposedly. Is, um, it's a Campbell Soup Company. They're all pretty much the same. Way thicker. Ingredients. This one, yeah, is thicker. This is way thicker. Yep. But way healthier. Um, I don't know that space alter. I think it is. This one definitely has a little kick to it. Hmm. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go back to the first one because I think I like I like the last one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pace wins. <clears throat> same price per same can. Same price. Same, yeah. So let's talk about it. It has 50 calories per serving, which is there's about a fourth of a cup as a serving. This one, the alfresco, has 45 <clears throat> for the cup also. This one is 45. Okay, so these are all 45. No, nope, this one is 40. But here's the thing. These you had to shake well before opening. So I accidentally didn't read that. And I opened it. Really had to stir it because you can really separate. see the separated grease out of it. And, of course, these are not good for you. And they are, it says shake for opening. Anyway, it does say add jalapeno vinegar for a delicious spicy flavor. So it's product of Mexico, out of Mexico, LLC. And the, it's Bueno is the brand name. And then this is the white cheese one, same everything. And then the alfresco nacho cheese. Okay, but these, no. I would buy the paste. Yep. Now, in a pinch, if I need a nacho sauce, though, oh, yeah. at a buck twenty-five, you could add some real cheese into it and make it super delicious, I think. I mean, we're going to make nachos probably when this is all said and done. Or pour them over our meatballs that we're cooking right now. Let's try that paste one more time. I like the paste. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's move along. We also have some sauces to try. Now, I know for a fact... This one is good. We had it with our breakfast on Saturday morning, right? So it says that it's hot. I don't think so. This very much reminds me of paste, yeah. not um, salsa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that paste, the salsa that comes in the little yeah, sheet bottle? Yep. And that, it really it's reminds very me of that. Very gardeny, a lot of. So it's Santitas, vegetables. which I know they make chips. And this is a Frito Lay product. This is a Frito Lay product. And there's it's uh, ten calories for two teaspoons. That's not bad. Table, there's fourteen tablespoons. servings. Tablespoons. There's fourteen servings in here. You could eat the entire thing for 140 calories. If you're into eating salsa. Well, there's that. Okay, and then that one was the hot, and this one is the mild. You might have to open that, babe. He's grabbing chips already. Actually, oh there you go. Oh, oh easy now. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this back in that one. Mix her up a little bit. Yeah. So, okay. You know I like the mild better. I always like the mild better. They're excellent, though. Man, if I see those again, I am buying those for sure. Either one. I mean, there's lots of vegetable in there. It's not just... No. It's super yeah, good, it's good, actually. Those are both very good. Okay. So, check our cooking. Right, so this is the Mexicali salsa, I mean, red enchilada sauce. So I'm not even going to cook this, but it does say shake before opening. And I'm just going to stick a chip in it because we're going to be able to tell the flavor from that. Obviously, we're not making a whole thing of Inchilada. enchiladas right now. Oh, it's very thin. It is very thin, but it's enchilada sauce. So, okay, I think what we should do, though. Taco shell dunk it. Yeah. All right, so we're not going to heat up the taco shells. We're going to tell a whole bunch by... Oh, they're those look broken. very nice. 12 count in here. That's, I think, an excellent buy. 4.8 ounce. This is good until March of 2019. Remove shells, heat oven. Yeah, well, we're not doing that. Um, bake five minutes until crisp. We don't need to do that because we're just trying them for, you know, flavor, which we're going to get without cooking them. Are you going to get those open, babe? I don't want to break them. 
Well, we're just going to make nachos out of them anyway. We are. You know we are. I'm going to put my meatballs in there. Yeah. We, we can make a nice nacho plate. That's so good for it our It is diet. nacho plate. A little, little divider in there to keep it from These look very down. nice and wide, too. <clears throat> Ooh. Ready? Nice. Why are you giving me a small piece? No, you can have both pieces. I don't care. I was going to read this. So, these are two, three taco shells is 140 calories. And there's like five grams of fat, one gram of saturated, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, 40 milligrams of sodium, which isn't too bad, actually. Total 23 carbohydrates. 11, three grams of dietary fiber. So the ingredients are corn, masa, flour, water, oh, vegetable oil. <clears throat> Contains bioengineered so, ingredients. do this. The Hoya wraps and snack no. products. <clears throat> Time out. Try the shell by Finish. itself. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I think it ruined the, I think it ruined the enchilada sauce. I think the enchilada sauce is good, but the, the shell taints it. Yeah, those aren't good. No. And they're not old. No, the shells are... To be fair, we should heat them up. Yeah, heat one up. The oven is on. Okay, we'll heat one up. We'll heat one up. So, all right, let's go back to the enchilada sauce, which is... I actually think it tastes pretty good. Five minutes at 350. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I think the enchilada sauce is good. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then we have taco sauce to try, which we can try this on a chip, I feel like, yeah? How's yeah. our meat doing? Uh, I gotta stir it. Check. All right, we're almost done with the meatballs and the fajita stuff, but this is taco sauce, so I gotta say, you know what I don't like? There's not like a squirt bottle on it. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is mild. Okay, this is a 16 ounce thing of taco sauce. This is by um, Gaspera's Mild Taco Sauce. It's slowly simmered and made with the finest California tomatoes, red chili peppers, jalapeno peppers, and our house made Did you shake Mexican well before opening? sauce. Yeah. Shake well. Like a sprinkler. Okay. Made in the USA. Yep, that's good. Yeah, and um, I thought that was good, actually. I would buy that again. Not that we have tacos a lot, that's but I, yeah, taco that's sauce, that's I feel like you can use for so many things. That's pretty good. So this is um, manufactured in, in, no, private label foods of Rochester. So I guess Rochester, New York, it's Gasparos. It's Gasparos. Gasparas. Gasparas? I don't know. Well, whatever. Anyway, hey, like, that's pretty like good. Like an Italian Mexican sauce. It does, right? Um, I think it's good. So I'm liking the. You need to get some in there. I'm liking the taco sauce. Well, no, I'm I'm good. I'm done. Oh. Mm. All right. So this is done. But I like it. Let's try a hot taco shell. Is it hot? Hot. It's hot. It's hot. Hey, I know what. Let's put some taco seasoning into the paste. Hang on. Hot. All right. I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'll mix. I bet this is good. The, the shell still doesn't taste good. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, the shells just aren't good. What's wrong with them? <laughs> they don't. They're just not good shells. They're definitely better warm. That was five minutes at 350. They're way better. They're, they're, they are better, but. They're, I mean, they're acceptable. They're really good. Yeah, I mean, if you had, you know, taco stuff in there, lettuce, cheese, tomato, onion, hamburger. Yeah, I feel like the crunch factor on them is pretty good. Yeah. That's really good. Hmm. But you gotta, you gotta eat them. It's a little spicy. Wow. Okay, we're gonna try these. These are the cheese doodles, baked puffs, hot and honey. Cheese doodles? So these are good until May 6th of 23. There's 150 calories for one ounce, and there's five servings in here. These are distributed by Wise Foods. Hmm. There's a lot of ingredients. We're not reading all those. They're not good for you. Need I say more? 
Um, remember recess, that time of day when you get loose, hung out with your friends and had no worries? Well, it still exists in every bag of delicious cheese doodles. Tear one open and find out. We double dog dare you. Sweet with a kick of heat. Kick your day up a notch with hot and honey. Oh. You're my hot and honey. <laughs> on Valentine's. We're filming on Valentine's Day. That's because we're doing our Valentine's Day. It's his, it's his turn this year. So um, Valentine's is for us is this weekend. We're not celebrating it tonight. So right. I have some surprise. Well, these are I don't cheese know what puffs. Yeah, like, but they're sweet and they're hot and honey. They taste like barbecue. They do taste like barbecue, but I can see how they get the hot and the honey. I like them. I don't like them. Oh god. I don't. I, but I don't like those cheese puffs either. So weirdo. How? They just pack into your teeth. I. I don't. That's, that's the best part. You're eating them for five minutes later still. <laughs> Mm. Okay. I know a couple of you said these were really good when I held them. Yes, they are. They're, they're good. I will I'll, never I'll, be buying them again because I will eat them. So there's that. Yeah, gotta put those down. Oh no. But yeah, those are good. All right, let's finish our cooking. Okay, so this is the Kinder Fajita Rice Bowl with Mexican rice. So we didn't put anything on top of it. We just cooked it as is, but obviously you know, you could put all the toppings, like cheese and all that, but we're just going to try it as is. Yeah, they got cilantro on there, cheese, and guacamole. Yeah, but that's not... We're trying it as... Here's a fork, babe. Well, thank you. So, you cook Hot. the rice with the seasoning, and then you cook the hamburger with the seasoning. So, and then you put them together, and we're going to tell you. On Valentine's. Uh-huh. Put them together. Mm-hmm. I will buy that again. That's good even with nothing on it, right? It's the seasoning. Put, put that in the taco shell. Oh, yeah. Make a taco out of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Now, granted, the hamburger is going to cost you whatever for a pound wherever you're at. <clears throat> yeah. But and it does say <clears throat> it does say you can use, uh, uh, obviously, Lean ground sirloin, uh, chicken or turkey. Mm. They do recommend 15% fat on your hamburger. And we did. Okay, so this is four servings per container. So let's see, our hamburger was, how much was it a pound? We got it on sale. Mm, yeah. Don't remember, but it was good. I'm gonna say it was like two bucks a pound or something. So there was a pound, and this was $1.25, so for $3.25, we are making enough of this for four people, which that sounds about right. It's the kind of thing that I would maybe do for a lunch and put into things for us and sprinkle some cheese on top, maybe some avocado or something or whatever. Anyway, I think it's very good. It's the seasoning that they're using that's so amazing. So this is 170 calories per, per thing. Kinder's is a product of PK Kinder Company Incorporated out of Walnut Creek, California. And um, so, yeah, it's got 1.5 total fat, saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, zero, 920 milligrams of sodium. Whoa. Yeah, it has none of total that. Total carbohydrate, 34. Fat. Yeah, dietary fiber, two Does total it say sugars, as two. prepared? No, that's just what's Yeah, in there. makes one cup. This is prepared. Yep. But the calories are, like, you know. No, because it says prepared. Well, but the the fat and the trans fat. No amount per cal per serving calories one, and this is makes about one cup. Per, I don't know. I guess it's assuming that you're using the fifteen percent. It has to be, yeah. There's some fine print down here. Is there? Uh, oh, the other one's done. Let's try the meatballs. Okay, so these are the Italian chop house meatballs. So also, you had to do one pound of hamburger, and then they had the seasoning and stuff in there. But it says like. Uh, optional marinara, marinara sauce because of course you could use it. We're not doing that. We're going to try them for you right here without um, any sauce on them. It said it makes about 14. <clears throat> we use shallow uh, cupcake, cookie thing. cupcake or cookie dish. Yeah, which was 12. We made 12. Some some of them are smaller than others because Marcus was making them. It's cute. Well, these look really good. Yeah. You do have to uh, 
spray your cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. I feel like this would make a really good meatloaf. <clears throat> I was thinking you could stuff mushroom caps. Oh my gosh, yes. Even if you added a little sausage in it, yeah, like half yeah. hamburger, well, half it, sausage. It, it, it tastes, it, well, they called it <clears throat> an Italian chop house meatball mix. It tastes like a sausage mix right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think this is very good. I would totally buy this to do that with mushrooms, and I would do half sausage, half hamburger, and yeah. oh, it would make an Those amazing mushroom. That's good. This is really good, so if you guys see this, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so let's recap. Ready? The Kinder things, both of them, really good. These are the only two Kinder meals that I have found. I don't know if anybody else has found any, but these are the only two I've had. So the fajita rice bowl, so I'm like literally going to take the rest of it. I'll portion it out for lunches, and I'll add a little sprig of cheese on top of it and maybe some avocado for our lunch, and we'll heat it up, you know, at lunchtime. Yeah, and cool. also would probably do the same thing with the meatballs just make like we don't really do bread but we could certainly put them in a little container for lunch sprinkle a little cheese on top to might have a nice protein and you can stretch that out if you put some uh saltines or something in there just to yeah but i don't think you even yeah, need yeah, I don't to think you need yeah. Them, but... okay so the taco shells i'm not super impressed with no. much better when they were cooked however for the price point i mean it's really not bad you get 12 tacos in here and I do feel like once you you've cook them, them and you fill them, they're going to be fine. Yeah, Just that initial mm, kind of left a, a bad taste. I think it's oily. It was oily, oily, yeah. Mm. I'm impressed with these. I like them. These are very good, you guys. Very fresh, very crisp. Tastes just like a Frito. Like, yeah, I like these. Oh, sure. Yeah, but they don't all taste like Fritos. No. You know. Okay. Um, I also really like the taco sauce. I thought this was really good. Agreed. And I feel like you can mix it in more, obviously, than just tacos. So, speaking of which, this makes it, I'm going to make an excellent enchilada sauce as well. Much like this. But this is 10 ounces and this is 16 fluid ounces. So, to be quite honest, I could see mixing the two of these to make a nice batch of enchiladas. One can's never enough. But, anyway, so, just some thoughts there. Sure. But I do, I think, the, I think these were both fine. And the green sauce was also very good in this little thin but then usually it is um the enchilada when you sauce cook it down yeah an enchilada, it soaks yeah it up. yep okay so mm -hmm. let's move on to these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good yes so bad for you and then um these i also think boy today was a good run yeah. actually because the these are both good. so good the cheese noodles are good the kinder meals are good the corn chips were good the taco sauce was good I mean, we did really well on today's foodie fun day. However, let's go to the cheeses. I would actually say no to these three cheeses. So Mexicalis. this would be the Francesca, or Francesca nacho, the white nacho, and the original nacho. I would say no to those. What I would say yes to is this one. Yeah. You agree? Agreed. Do you want to stick your finger in it one more time? Not really. It's still good, I'm even cold. I'm gonna, even I'm gonna cold. Pour it over a meatball. You're going to pour it over a meatball. All right, guys. So that was it. I think this was a really good foodie fun day. The only thing that I would probably question, I definitely wouldn't buy those nacho cheese sauces again. I'm not, definitely not. I'm going to buy paste. I'll stock up on it just for a party or something. And I might question these. However, if there wasn't another one there, I might give these another try. I mean, I feel, you know. Maybe they need more than five minutes. Maybe they need more than five minutes. Who knows? I mean, that we know they're full of grease because they're, a taco shell, right? Okay, anyway, um, that's it. No effing hammy. <laughs> you don't get to try anything. I know. Wait, I'm Easy sorry. Funny. I'm sorry that the meatball was good. I'm really sorry, but it what? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you think we should make it with sausage? Well, of course you do. Or chicken. Chicken. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So that's it for this foodie fun day. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, sandwiches are wonderful, yeah, sandwiches are that, fun. I love sandwiches. I eat them all the time. It's so funny. I mean, kids would all know that because it was like the Raffi album played over and over. He literally put cheese sauce on the meatball, you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So, everybody, we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, besties.
Goodbye, besties. Thank you, Effingham. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. If you really liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And down below in the comments, if you wouldn't mind telling us what your favorite thing is that we tried tonight that you're going to be looking to buy. All right. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.